Hey family, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another mod overview video. Alright guys, I'm so happy to have you back or if this is your first time here, welcome. I won't bore you with all of the long introductions, but hello, my name is I'm Money or Miss Money. I do mod overviews, let's plays, and occasionally I build. I need to stop saying occasionally because lately I've been in the building mood. This home you're looking at right here, yes, built from the ground up by yours truly and I will be uploading this build pretty soon. So the theme of this video is going to be non-aesthetic mods and objects for The Sims 4. I know, I know, y'all love the clean girl look, you know, the clean girl aesthetic, you know, you love the whites and the pastels and the beiges. Listen, I like it too sometimes, but sometimes it's fun to get out of the clean girl aesthetic and put some life back into your game. Put some more personality back into your game. Put some individuality back into your game. Because after a while, everybody's games, everybody's sim start looking the same, okay? So my sim lives in what's called an affordable housing apartment. I built this apartment myself with in mind of a low income sims. This is a three bedroom, one bath home, and it's pretty small. So this is the first side. And then over here is the second apartment. No sims live here yet, but I am gonna plop a family over there. So anyways, let's get to some of these objects. We have a dish filled sink so this sink comes with dishes filled inside of it I love this because it gives it a little bit more lived in feel it comes in different color variants so the dishes will change colors on the inside okay girlfriend I see you get down with the get down and then you guys we have this dish rack in which you can customize yourself no I'm not just talking about the swatches yeah you can change the color of the swatches but y'all look the dishes actually can be placed so there's a lot of slots it comes with the plates it comes with a pan that you can put in there it comes with a bowl and you can even change the color of the plates y'all you can change the color of the pan the color of the bowl adds a little bit more personality to your sims kitchen if you want it go ahead and consider plopping this in your game if you're looking for some simplicity around the sims 4 it has some simple looking speakers that your sims can dance to it is considered a computer speaker but like i said i put it in a random place in my sims home that way that they can listen to music if we go on over here to the other apartment you'll see down here there's a bunch of clutter and icky looking stuff and it just looks disorganized y'all say disorganized but i say lived in everything just looks used and lived in and baby i am here for it give me the personality this place looks like it has children that does not have any responsibility whatsoever looks like a parent here that needs to pay their bills and around the sims 4 it has what's called a rug of mess it comes in different types of uh, options or whatever it acts as a rug so that way it doesn't interfere with your sims pathways or anything like that uh, here's a pile of letters um another just little pile of paper right here i love this one it's a pile of a lot of letters and stuff maybe overdue bills things that your sims <laughs> needs to be paying you know you can kind of tell a story with these items i would consider downloading around the sims for what's called a slob's life they have a whole bunch of different items underneath that one my favorites are being um, a crashed can of soda a snack bag so it looks like it's opened up and somebody's been eating on it here is an open pizza box in this particular build you see different items scattered around again to make this place look lived in my other favorite from a slob's life is this pile of dirty clothes now this next one is kind of like a mod slash object so i'm gonna go ahead and include it but there's a mod where you can add apartment lot traits um to your residential apartments and one of those being needs till tlc this mod also unlocks different types of um, apartment i guess effects and stuff like that so basically you can go into build by mode and place like a roach infestation um you can place a suspicious smell you can place leaky water pipes in your game a wing llama has a lot of nostalgic looking items that pack has so many nostalgic things in it i think it's called nostalgic living but yeah this fan right here is actually from the, a wing llamas uh, pack as well as these tattered window blinds matter of fact i live in an apartment right now and the window blinds in my kids bedroom is tattered and messed up because all they do is play on the window blinds so i just feel like these are perfect and these are super realistic y'all <laughs> for your sims that don't want to necessarily own a vacuum you can get a broom and it's functional this is a fairly old mod but again you guys 
non aesthetic <laughs> and i'm gonna have her to go use the broom to sweep around her freaking apartment so boom you can see her she is sweeping the apartment the animation is pretty smooth oh, i wanted to say i love the sound animation you actually get the sound of a broom sweeping i've been loving this trash can that came with i believe max 20s i've been looking for trash cans that kind of look similar to this and that are just simple and you know just pretty sim simplex or whatever so i did find one on around the sims 4 it's not as basic as the standing white one but i like this one because it has like the little foot handle on the bottom of it okay, so we are going to head on over to the kitchen to look at some mods all right so there is the one pot meal by ice mun mun so if you click on the pot you can make a one pot meal and depending on the recipes that you put in your game you can have your sim to make a pot of different types of meals i love beef stew <laughs> let's do beef stew all right, so boom, she is doing the one pot meal. You can hear some of the sounds and then there's a little animation. But yeah, after that, she grabs the pot and she's eating it. It looks very detailed. It looks very yummy. If we move on over here, there is another appliance. Shout out to Little Bo Bub. They have what's called a toasty. <laughs> So you can click on it and you can make a toasty. You can do a single serving, family serving, or party serving. Ooh, a sunny side toasty. That sounds yummy. Let's do that. Now tell me in the comments, how do y'all like y'all's eggs? I like my eggs runny, y'all. Sometimes I like them sunny side up, you know, over easy, fried hard. Sometimes I like them scrambled. Sometimes I like them boiled. Let's do, um, grab the food. <laughs> Girl, you want to be a rock star so bad. All right, so she's walking over here to grab her toasty let's see mm, looks yummy hey let's clean this place up you know our neighbors already got roaches and rats and stuff so let's make sure we clean up some of this food <laughs> but from my last video y'all remember how i said you know the little outlets and the light switches make a home come together you see how homey and lived in this place looks even though she does live on a government assistance she still makes sure that she has you know nice things inside of her home and her home looks neat and well taken care of she still has style you guys you can you can live in affordable housing and still have style period but this is her room or whatever and yes i did put some hideous looking carpet inside of these homes because those people that own those affordable housing units they do not be caring how them carpets look i promise you and then over here we have her daughter's room her daughter's room is kind of bare or whatever and she did paint this one wall over here did she have permission to paint this wall i don't know <laughs> and this room over here is still empty over here is her bathroom the towels still look a little lived in but she also put some of her personality in the bathroom and you know what that's all that's what the sims is about sometimes you know you got to give things your own little style okay, so let's say if your sim does live in a local income housing unit and they need some government assistance yes the smb mod does come with like a government assistance type portal but there is another mod out there that's called the sim care mod if you go to your sims phone there's a new icon that says sim care you click on sim care you can apply for benefits you can check your balance and you can manage your benefits now i've already had my sim to apply for food stamps but you can apply for some other benefits for example you can apply for unemployment benefits and apply for disability benefits utility credit and apply for child care credit so since my sim does have an infant we're going to go ahead and apply for child care credit and boom denied you have not been approved for child care credit if you think this was a mistake you can apply again now whether or not your sim gets approved or denied is by random which i kind of like that but my sim does have a job and she does have about six hundred dollars um but let's go in try to apply for something else. Let's apply for a utility credit. Approved, do you have been approved for a utility credit? You will receive a tax break on your utility bill. When my sim was approved for food stamps, she did get um, a notification that her food stamps would be available, I believe every Wednesday for $79. But yeah, I think this is an awesome new mod. I'll go ahead and consider popping that in your game. So now there is a mod where you can have more TV channels. So if you click on your TV, you can go to watch channel and you can watch sim ID network you can watch sitcom central or sim tv the good thing about these channels is that your sims actually gain skills so this one you will give you i believe a research and debate skill girl you steady want to dance sit down somewhere 
you want to be a rock star you want to be a dancer you want to do all of that so let's click on cmid network and again to have her to sit down and watch some freaking tv and you can see above her head she is gaining the research and debate skill if we switch it to the sims tv then your sims can gain the singing skill has a cute little channel here and above her head you can see the singing icon or rather the singing skill is increasing for her there is a new mod where as your sims can chat with another sim of the same age and they don't have to know that particular sim so you click on your computer and you go to socialize and you click on chat with sims of the same age and here you will get sims that are your same age you can chat with anybody this way you can just kind of gain friendships you know so i'm going to have my sim to chat with um miss adrian Poole here it would be nice if we could select multiple sims to chat with that'd be cool so yeah this mod is pretty useful if you don't necessarily want to invite any sims over right now but you know you just want to first of all give your sims a little boast in their social need but also help them to make friends faster. And then once you, of course, make acquaintances with somebody online, if you have Little Miss Sam's, one of her social mods, then you can go to social activities and you can go visit acquaintances. And of your acquaintances, see now, since I've made acquaintances with Miss Adrian Poole on the computer using the chat with any Sim mod, now I can go and visit her over at her house. And that way your sim will go into a rabbit hole and go visit that sim at their house. If you want to call over that acquaintance to come to your house, of course you can do that the old fashioned way. If your sim has been spending too much time on the computer, then you can give them a journal. There is a mod that extends the capabilities of your journal. So with the journal, now when you click on it, you have different options. You can write in your journal and increase your skills. You can practice writing, you can write jokes, you can solve math problems, practice for debate, and you can also write about your positive or negative emotions. I love that we can actually practice writing in the journals now. That is something that I, instead of having your sim on the computer to practice writing, sometimes I just want my sims to just write at the freaking table. As you can see, her writing skill is increasing when I clicked on it. So I will definitely be using this mod more often. All right, you guys, we're going to finish up this video and create a sim like we always do let's get into some tattoos i don't know what it is but lately i've been enjoying putting tattoos on my sims i like the small and subtle tattoos on my sims there are some tattoos that your sims can get on their waist or their sides these tattoos are in simlish oh this one's going down her side i like that too and this one see i like the small ones and if you're looking for more traits for your sims there's a trophy spouse <laughs> trait for your sims these sims are often regarded as a status symbol for their spouse. Now I know we were talking about non-aesthetic you know looking items and things that you can put around your house but and I know we're so keen to creating young adult sims that are just flawless and beautiful and you know just a clean girl aesthetic and stuff like that but you guys I want to remind y'all to put some details on your sims whether it's freckles whether it's a little mustache <laughs> or whatever on your sim maybe they're going through PCOS um, but for sure, I love putting wrinkles and stuff like that on my Sims, eye bags. But some of my favorites are the little wrinkles, especially for my older Sims as they age. This would be her, you know, if she was an elder and she's still freaking beautiful, of course. <laughs> maybe with a change of hairdo and maybe let's take off this. Let's take off the hair. Um, maybe let's take off the earrings boom there we go see y'all don't underestimate how beautiful elder sims can still be like even with the wrinkles even with the age spots your sims can still be very much beautiful don't be afraid to play with your elder sim the next little piece of creative sim item is for your little infant sims so i found this little bib or whatever it comes in different color variants make sure that you grab the mesh to go along with it but yeah so I just love this one so much, the one that she has on now, but there are, like I said, a slew of different color variants that are so adorable. Oh, little, little avocado. Now I gotta dress you in an avocado outfit, but I couldn't help myself. Look at her. Oh, with your little avocado outfit now. So cute. <laughs> Imani, you think everything is cute. Yes, I do. I can't help it. Yeah. So besides the Creative Sim items, what I also want to show y'all is this Creative Sim background. As you can see, 
Um, I have a black background and down here you can see my Sims reflection. You can't see it completely, but you can see their feet. So this particular modder has several different create a Sim backgrounds. And if you're feeling nostalgic, you can have the Sims 2 body shop icon as your create a Sim background. There is the, the mirrored type of create a Sim background. Now I did put this one in my game and it was pretty neat. There's a white version and a black version. I can't stand white, it burns my eyeballs. But to make your Sims more vibrant in Creative Sim, there's different options. Y'all read the instructions on this particular mod. I did use it, it worked fine. The only thing was, I think the glow effect on my Sims was a bit much for certain items that my sim had on you see you see that like the little weird reflection on her shoulder it might just be my computer i'm not sure but y'all can plop it in i mean it works fine it's giving me a new feel to my game and if you're in the christmas spirit there is a winter wonderland or christmasy creative sim background remember you can only have one creative sim background override in your game at a time all so, right family yeah. thanks so much for watching this video hopefully you checked out some mods that are useful for you and until next time bye